Hi, this is Mike Denblaker, Chair of the Rio Rancho, Greater Rio Rancho Chamber uh, Ambassador Chair. Wow, I said in all different ways. That's what happens in the uh, morning part. Uh, I am here today on an Ambassador Spotlight with Anthony Ramirez, with Sam Ray. So, is that correct? So, yes, so. Sir. <laughs> All right, and, and I'm really curious about the name, and of course, uh, it must be something to do with solar, and I'm always interested in green energy, so I'm all ears. So, Anthony, tell me a little bit about yourself and about the company. All right, so thanks for having me, guys. Um, I am the owner of Simple Day Solar, and uh, we are a startup company here in Rio Rancho um, to bring solar to the community. Um, I moved to New Mexico in 2014. I've been doing solar for 11 years now and um, got my start in California and have touched every base uh, facet of the solar industry from installation to design to inspections. So, um, you know, you're in really good hands with us. Uh, I am NAVSET certified, which is a certification from the solar industry. So, you know, you'll have um, certified technicians at your home also during the installation mm -hmm. process. And right now is a good time really to get into solar because uh, the tax incentives have been extended for uh, two more years. So you st we're still at 26% off of, um, of the total cost of the installation. And then also the great state of New Mexico is also kicking in 10% more for a total of 36% off of your uh, installation price. Wow. So how did you get started in the, the solar industry? I got started 11 years ago. I answered uh, answered an ad. I had just been laid off and I answered an ad. Um, um, and they said they, they just needed an AutoCAD operator and they would teach us they would teach us the, the ins and out of solar. And that's kind of how I got my start was inside the design engineering section of solar. So once the sales has been uh, completed and uh, it gets sent to us, so we draw up all the permit packets and get everything ready for the permitting process. And that's kind of how I got into it. Uh, from there, I grew and learned more and got kind of worked myself out of the office, um, which most guys are working themselves off of the roof into the office. And <laughs> the opposite. Like, I'm right. an outside person. I got to get outside. So um, off I went and learned um, installation and site serving and understanding. Um, since I had the, the understanding of the design and electrical part, it was the whole construction part uh, that I got to learn on out on the roof. And then, like I said, from there, um, I took a job doing um, inspections and coming through. So all the finance companies um, would hire us and we would go out after the installation was done to make sure that their investment was was installed properly. So, oh, so they want to make sure if you if they're going to finance something that's actually there and working. Right, right. Because we're you know these uh, systems are guaranteed for twenty five years now. A lot of the manufacturer warranties and the warranties given by the companies uh, for workmanship and things like that are starting to match those uh, lifetime warranties. And it's gonna be on your roof for 30 years. So one of the things that I've read is that the solar panels, uh, there's been an improvement in the effectiveness of that. Can you give me a little information on that? Sure, I, you know, as technology gets better and better, um, as we learn with our cell phones and computers and things like that, the next version is always faster and smaller. And that's kind of what we're seeing now with the panels. 
um, we're getting much larger wattage out of them. So we're getting more power um, at the same size of panels. For a while, the panels kept getting bigger and bigger to accommodate the more power that we wanted from them. But now we kind of are staying within the same frame and the panels are actually getting uh, more efficient. So now we use LG uh, panels and we're with the industry standard of about 360 watts per panel at the efficiency rate of almost 19%. So, which is a much, much better from five, 10 years ago when we were looking at about not, you know, about 10% or so, or even less, depending on some of the quality of the panels people were using. So before I, I ask you a question about how you joined the chamber and why, tell me a little bit about how the pandemic has affected your business and what you've done to try to still drive business, even though now we're getting to the tail end of it and we're all able to go outside without a mask, according to the CDC, but it isn't that exciting. Right. It was a big adjustment. Uh, we had to move a lot of uh, our face-to-face -face stuff onto Zoom. Um, we, of course, you know, the canvassing, the, we had to really find new ways because, you know, the, for the longest time, everyone's had the person come knock on their door and see if they're interested in solar and it's the door-to-door -door sales and those type of things we definitely had to adjust with. And then also keeping, you know, keeping the workers safe while they're on people's property, as far as PPE, having a hand washing sanitation area for them uh, on site and uh, you know, just making sure everybody's uh, washing their hands and keeping their mask on and social distancing, even on the roof too. We, you know, we try and keep a little bit of separation between between the employees, so. All right. So why did you join the chamber? I'm happy about it too, of course. <laughs> I joined the chamber to uh, to be more involved in the, in the community. Um, like I said, we moved out from California and we lived in the Bay Area, California. I moved out here in 2014 and really liked the, the smaller, slower pace of what we found here in Rio Rancho. And uh, it kind of reminds me of my hometown of uh, Poway, California, um, just outside of city limits, and but it's still country slow pace. And, the the small tight community is is definitely a draw, and I wanted to be a part of it, especially if I was going to be uh, starting a business. Okay, um, so joining the chamber and then also wanting to become an ambassador, what uh, drew you to also taking it to another level? Um, really, the um. I would have to say the chamber members themselves. The um, before becoming a member, I was introduced to the chamber uh, through the through Emmett and Rich, who ran the uh, the military surplus store off of Sarah. Um, that was my first introduction to the chamber, and just the the acceptance and and, um, and just kind of the openness. Of, um, the way the chamber kind of just welcomed me with, a, with the open arms. It was definitely um, a reason for me to want to give back even more and um, give that same handout and be there uh, for, new, for new companies joining um, the chamber also, so. Great. Well, I've learned a lot more about what has changed in the solar industry at this point in time, and uh, I look forward to many years of you being a chamber member and also an ambassador and helping us spread the word as we finally come out of this uh, pandemic. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think everyone is looking forward to being able to be in, in person again. Right. Thanks again, Anthony. I appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day. Thanks, Mike. You too. All right, bye-bye. All right, goodbye.